Hey guys, Dave Thomas of BowlerandPlant.com. If you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like, and also hit the bell on the Bowler Plant YouTube page and Realtree page. You are watching the Bowler Planet Test Lab Realtree Edition brought to you here by BowhunterPlant.com and Realtree. In today's video, we are going to have some super fun checking out a video me and Kevin did a few months ago on the Expedition Viking in a Realtree camo. So very cool looking bow, very nice bow. Let's check out the video now and have some fun. I mean, the real tree edge pops. You were talking about that to me earlier. Yeah, yeah. I like the way. I, I do like the color, and the, they put these little yellow racing yeah, stripes. That's pretty there. cool. Yeah, almost like indicating speed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, very good. So, talk about fit, form, and function real quick. Uh, it, it, it's a really nice feeling crossbow mounts really nice to you when you're holding it up uh, the grip is big and it gives you a lot of flexibility for a lot of different people I think for the size of it I like the rubber rubber too it's kind of like everything is kind of rubberized so if you're out in the cold I don't think it's gonna be as cold on your hands yep for sure yeah it's got uh, a nice lighted scope on it five, pretty comfortable five lines in there so it looks really nice yeah uh, you said illuminated let's talk about the safety real quick Kevin well right off the bat <clears throat> jumps out at me. You see the safety here is very visible, you know, the green and the red, uh, super visible. The uh, ambidextrous too. Ambidextrous, yep, it's on both sides. Uh, nice protection for your finger, plus they got this forward, forward grip that you can hold on to, so that's really going to make sure it reminds you to keep your fingers out of the mechanism. Well, one of the new things for anti-dry fire that you, the reason you don't see it is it's built into this 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 tongue you see the tongue in there on the bottom ah, so that gets pushed down now yeah. it's a little different than the old ones nice. that I used to so there is an anti dry fire yes sir that's the newer tech anti dry fire that i've seen at least you know and and we noticed that in some of the later crossbows that you're not seeing the the piece anymore that holds yeah. it because the boat just won't fire unless that's pushed down now oh nice nice and probably a little easier to uh yeah, you, know, you don't have the hang up like you used to get with Correct. The, with the old anti drive. Yeah, what he refers to the hang hang up is that if the arrow, if the string was to fall into the anti drive fire, now you got this issue of how do I get it off of there? Yeah, it's not the simplest things. You have to somehow recock it back to get it, and then to drop it to let it go back down. So that sometimes becomes a little bit of a dangerous situation, in my opinion, uh, over the over the years that I've seen. Um, the suppression on this bow is really cool. There is a lot of cool looking X's on this bow for Expedition, I love it. Everything is made into a, almost looking like an X. Um, and I think they did a great job on the look of this bow. Uh, I'm very excited to shoot it, we haven't shot it yet. It came with three carbon arrows, came with the tips, came with the quiver. Uh, the assembly was not too bad. Assembly was required for us though. I'm sure if you go to a pro shop, it'll come assemble for you. So as far as adjustability of the bow, it does have a lot of adjustability. It doesn't look like it because there's not like a quick release adjustability. But I think the concept that Expedition was going for with this is that once you set it up to fit you, you're not going to probably change it. So I understand the fact to not have a quick lever here um, because you could accidentally undo that as yeah. well. So there are flips, goods and bads to each situation. Now the way this works is you push these two levers in and then you pop it up. And once you're inside the mechanism, there is an Allen wrench which allows you to keep it right in there if you need to adjust in the field. And there's two screws here on the inside. You're going to loosen those and you can slide it back and forth. So that's how it's gonna work and then it gets all hidden and nicely covered by the cover here. The bow has a lot of great stuff to it. Expedition did a great job on the design. It looks good, it's, it's stunning. I'm sure it's gonna perform very well. As far as the specs go. You got the bow weight is uh, 6.7 pounds, so not too heavy. Yep. It's got the length is uh, 34 and a half by 37 adjustable. So when the bow is cocked, it's about 14 inches, and when it's just sitting uh, static, it's uh, 18 inches. Power stroke is 13.75, and they say speeds up to 375 feet per second with a 380 grain carbon bolt. So that's pretty fast. Yeah, absolutely. That's really fast, so. 387. There you go. There we go.
All right, guys, that's it. Those are the shots in the Viking X375 from Expedition. Um, pretty amazing. I, I did like the ball a lot. Yeah, I, I mean, it's comfortable to shoot, and uh, I'll tell you this, it, it's got a lot of power. It almost felt like it had a kick like a, like a rifle or something like yeah. that. Yeah, um, I was really impressed with the speeds. You know, they were they were claiming 375, and we got 387. 387, on ice. 12 feet faster than the advertising. Yeah, that's a rarity. We rarely have it where they're yeah. actually faster than what they're claiming. So, a lot of power. You could feel. I knew when I was shooting yeah, it. I, I could feel. Say, you First could time see I shot it, I felt like, wow, this thing is really yeah. flying. You know. You could see the power. Uh, the scope is great. Uh, you know, with the lighted mm -hmm. scope, it's easy to see your target and. Uh, Put it on target and uh, the safety was great safety. automatically put it in safe right yeah the automatic safety i like that you know you cock it it goes into safety immediately mm -hmm. which is really That's nice excellent. uh it wasn't very loud no you know we're shooting quiet. it indoors tons and, of suppression on it though that's probably helps yeah. with that yeah we're shooting it indoors and it's still pretty quiet you know i just noticed that you know we talked a little bit about the stripes earlier the yellow stripes but i just noticed the coordination on the stripes so you got the yellow stripes mm -hmm. you have yellow strings which i just noticed yep <laughs> and there's some yellow stickers and stuff there for caution but this still looks cool it's like a yeah. whole yellow thing going on here yeah right, i like it a cool. lot so, but it has a lot of adjustability. I thought that was cool. A lot of good safety features to it. Expedition did a great job with this bow. And again, you know, to get a faster speed than your advertising, that's a huge deal, you know, in this industry. You don't see it a lot. Once in a while, you'll see it on some compounds very rarely. Crossbows, I've seen it a couple times, but not a ton. So it's, right, it's really exciting right. that they've done that. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you guys, the power of this bow is super powerful. When Kevin first shot it, we were both kind of shocked at the same time. I was I was very shocked how quiet it was for being that powerful of a crossbow. Yeah, you, know, you don't see that every day with that kind of power. Yeah, you know, I mean, all cross crossbows are pretty flat shooting, but you could I could just tell as soon as I pulled the trigger, which was by the way a nice mm -hmm. a nice trigger, it was a you know nice smooth trigger pull for this, and uh, yeah, I was I was happy with it. I'd hunt with this. Speak of the all thing. We'll bring some yellow back into the background of this thing before we go. Uh, but check out Expedition Online. You can click the link below. We'll put it in the description to this bow. And you can learn all you can about Expedition. They also have compound bows, which you've seen on the show before. Their compounds are great bows. So uh, if you're looking for high performance bows, good quality, these are definitely some great options for you uh, this year. So check that out. Um, that's it. Anything, Kevin? Anything less? No, I have fun hunting with this thing because yeah. uh, you're definitely going to be able to put an animal down with this. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful bow. Great job, Expedition. We'll see you guys next time on Boner Planet's Tesla Lab.